Hey guys, in this video I start adapting a chainsaw motor to fit in a little jet boat, but then I end up making a surface drive, so stay tuned, got some pretty cool footage here. Alright, we've got Joel here, he's uh, hey making a keyway in this piece of bright bar for me, because I don't know how to use a mill. Beep. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Yeah, technology. Yeah, I see that's pretty fancy. Got her in the anchors. Beep. Oh. So you don't have to minus off the cutter yourself with your own brain? No, because you're going... It's got a computer brain. No, well, you got the ball size there, the ball size there. It doesn't matter where it is. Uh... It just makes it in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know what you mean. Yeah, man. Yeah, tiny little cut now. Here's the finished product, I just have to clean it up with the grinder and that's going to slide on here and then I'm just going to weld it to the end so I can cut it off later if I have to. Okay, I've got that on there and in position but there's a severe problem here. It runs backwards. So this is not going to work. Alright, I've got an idea for what to do. I've got this old Seagull motor that's uh, seen better days, head's totally corroded through. So I might cut the bottom of that and then I can hook the chains, this big chainsaw up to it and make a little chainsaw outboard but I have a super short shaft so I can go in the shallow water. Just done a tiny little weld around there and then I made this little number right here which will slide over use the grub screw for that and then this is the drive shaft for this seagull outboard it goes in there must go into a square spline in there sort of thing so I've got to hammer that into there and weld her up so let's put that together all right I've got that on there and the shaft hammered in there but look doesn't run very true so I've got the my little pony pencil DTI back out again and I'll just give this a tap around till she's running sweet that's better all right that's sort of how that's gonna go I made this other engine mount plate up at work and I made it quite thick that's out of uh, 10 mil plate or you know if you're use imperial that's like a hundredth of a meter all right I've got this in here at work now and I'm um, just going to weld a bracket to here so I can adjust the height with a bolt. I've put all those parts together, I've got a big brace down here, this brace down the bottom to hold this piece, and I've got this bolt here to adjust the pitch when it sits in the water. So now I've got to decide on a propeller I'm going to try. I've got these four surface props. So this one here is like a six and a half inch. And I've got an eight and a half that's broken, which I could fix but I can't be bothered. And this one here is, I think it's a nine inch, which is the one I mostly use on my other long tail. And this one here is like a super aggressive one. It's got the same size, so this would be the fastest one. So I might start with this one first.
I think the propeller's too low now. And I think the propeller's too aggressive. We'll go with the other one. I'll change it. Look at that log. <sighs> this is not ideal testing conditions, is it? Oh, I'll take it up in the flex bush. How deep are you? Dan, how deep are you? Um, I don't know. Uh, I need a knife. You want me to throw you a knife from here? Um, <laughs> deep. <laughs> <laughs> Winter, by the way. <laughs> oh, I've got Sketchy conditions, it's not set up properly, but I can see now it's going to work. It's great. Or oh, I'd better pack up and go before something bad happens, eh? Like we get washed down the river. It's a lot easier to carry up than the jet boat. I'm soaked. I'm soaked through. Well, that was pretty hard out. The river was just so crazy. I didn't want to test too much more. I was going to get swept down in the big current, but it started to work at the end. What I need to change though, is I need to make, somehow make the handle longer so I can uh, sit further forward and also get more balance. I've got more leverage to lift the prop out of the water. I think I can also go to the more aggressive prop and I've just got to feed it into the water slowly. 
it seems to stall really easy. I don't know if chainsaw motors are made to do that, so they don't when they jam up on a log or whatever they stall. I don't know if I need to put a bigger flywheel on it or something. Also, starting it, I can't really start it in the water; it's too cumbersome. So maybe I have to extend the pull cord and make a pulley or something. Expansion chamber going into the water, so it's quieter and more powerful. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.